Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new series of Masters of the Universe reaction figures from Super 7. That's right, Super 7 is still producing these crazy almost what if series of Masters of the Universe figures. It's really funny because they're almost like the anti He-Man toys, right? Because the whole deal with the original vintage Masters of the Universe toy line is that they were bigger and chunkier and beefier than any of the other action figures out there. Well, this whole line here basically reimagines Masters of the Universe as if they were done in that four inch kind of Kenner style like the classic Star Wars figures. And it's actually pretty fun and interesting. So this brand new series gives us some very cool fully carded new figures that include Stratos, Battle Armor Skeletor, Tila, Cobra Khan, Battle Armor He-Man, and Zodak. And we're gonna take a look at them today. Now I gotta say, one of my favorite things about these are these card backs because the artwork on these is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful artwork that continues the trend that we saw with the first series of these. Uh, you can see they got these beautiful backgrounds with Castle Grayskull there, almost like these full painted portraits of the characters, which has a very vintage or very retro feel to it. And I love it. I love how bright and colorful the card backs are. They really, really stand out. And I can totally see the appeal of buying these and then just straight keeping them in the box because the artwork is gorgeous on here. It's almost a shame to rip these open and throw the packages away. The back side of the box gives you another very vintage style uh, kind of cross sell, but it's worth noting that the cross sell images look like the vintage cross sell art work uh, that was on the back of the old vintage packages. So it actually looks like the old action figures, not the reaction figures. But it does show off all of the figures currently available in Super 7's Reaction Masters of the Universe lineup. So, cool packages, yes. And like I said, I totally get it if you want to leave these sealed, but... We're going to open them up and take a closer look at the figures, so let's do it. Alright, so we've got our new Masters of the Universe reaction figures outside of their packaging. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Let's start with the scale. If I bring in the tape measure here, you can see they are perfectly right around that three and three quarter inch mark. They are shy of a full four inches tall, so they are gonna scale perfectly with a lot of those classic vintage lines like other reaction figures or your vintage Kenner Star Wars, stuff like that. And I gotta tell you, the overall quality is really well done on these. They feel nice and solid and all the joints are really tight, really, really well working, so they all stand well, there's no loose joints. Of course, they feature that classic five points of articulation, so the heads move side to side, the arms move up and down at the shoulders, the legs move up and down to the thighs. That's all you're gonna get, but they feel nice and solid, they are very, very sturdy figures. And for the most part, the paint is really clean. Now I say for the most part, because I do have a few slides areas. Uh, the back of Stratos's leg has got some blue on there, but that was the biggest one that I noticed. Otherwise, they're really nice. They're vibrant and very bright and colorful, exactly as Masters of the Universe characters should be. Now, of course, these are basic figures, so you're going to have no action features here, which, of course, that was a staple of the vintage Masters of the Universe line. So, you know, there's no waist-twisting action because that's not even a point of articulation on these. But also worth noting that with both He-Man and Skeletor here, they're rocking their battle armor, but they are sculpted this way. There's no battle armor feature, of course. There's no spinning little uh, disc in there that makes the battle armor change. So these are just set this way. But I will say, uh, Super 7 did a pretty great job of capturing the look of these characters just done in this weird kind of skinnier style instead of being <laughs> huge and hulking like a lot of the Masters of the Universe characters are they're thin and they stand a little bit taller they're not squat or anything they have straight legs but they still capture the essence of the characters just fine and they do a good job of taking a lot of the hues from the vintage toy line and bringing them in to the reaction line for example take a look at Zodak here you can't really tell too much on the front, but when you look on the back, he actually does have the hairy back. <laughs> so, you know, just like that vintage figure, it used the Beastman body, but it gave him like a hairy torso. They actually sculpted that on to Zodak here. Now, the armor is all a part of the sculpt, so their torsos are all sculpted that way. So I thought that was a pretty good touch that they actually went that extra step and sculpted that on there. I do gotta bring up Tila because I think she is the goofiest looking one of the entire bunch. 
Uh, I know these are supposed to look retro, but holy cow, that head sculpt has got to be as retro, like, horrific as possible. Oof. Um, also, it's worth noting that I feel like this is the first time Attila figure has ever had the snake armor that actually looks like a snake engulfing her and eating her head, because that's totally what it looks like here. I know it's supposed to kind of be like an open snake mouth almost, but yeah, it looks like the snake is straight up just eating Tila's head. So, I don't know. It's definitely charming. It's got that vintage feel. Uh, the rest of the colors are great, obviously. Obviously, I mean, the gold it has got a nice shine to it, so the rest of it does look pretty nice. Now, these other characters, especially with, uh, I would say, Cobra Khan, Zodak, and Stratos, Cobra Khan specifically, uh, the heads have a really, really great vintage feel to them that look just like the Masters of the Universe heads shrunken down a little bit, but man, this Cobra Khan might be my favorite in this entire set. I mean, he just works so well in this style, it's kind of unbelievable. In fact, without the uh, water squirting feature and everything, I don't know, I feel like the extra scales and the way they kind of sculpted his head there, he looks way more snake-like than before, and it just works really, really well. So he is a very cool figure and definitely my favorite, I think, in this particular batch. Now, each of these figures does come with one weapon. So Skeletor here has a smaller version of the Power Sword, just like the Vintage figure. You can see that. All of them uh, basically hold their weapons with the right hand, it's worth noting. The left hands are either open or they're kind of more of like a loose grip. All of the right hands are sculpted specifically to hold on to the weapons. So Cobra Khan and Zodak both get the same little red ray gun, just like in the Vintage line. And you know what? It's really cool with these accessories, but it's specifically noticeable with these ray guns. How much they look just like like the vintage masters of the universe accessories just shrunken down there's something totally charming about that i love that these little ray guns especially so very very cool stratos gets no weapons just like in the vintage line but tila does have her snake staff so we can put that in her right hand here just like that and then he-man instead of a power sword they went ahead and gave battle armor he-man the battle axe which is pretty cool i always pose my vintage battle armor he-man with the axe so i totally approve of this and that right there is going to round out our reaction set. These are a lot of fun. They really, really are. And look, I know these aren't going to be for everybody. And the appeal of Vintage Masters of the Universe is the bigger, chunkier figures. But if you're a fan of the three and three quarter inch scale or that classic Kenner style and you always kind of liked He-Man, I totally think these are going to be right up your alley. Or if you're like me and you just devour everything He-Man and you kind of appreciate the retro charm, you're going to like these. I really think you are. They're really well-made figures, and they're a lot of fun and just something different. So I got to give a very special thanks to the folks at Super 7 for sending these along so we can get a good look at them. They are available for sale right now at Super7Store.com, and they're going to run you around $15 a figure. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my toy reviews. Until next time.